Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Veterans Day. We must all remember its true meaning, to remember and to honor those who made the supreme sacrifice for our country and for those who are presently serving our country. Around the world, 125,000 Americans lie buried in foreign soil. They are buried from World War I and World War II. Bellow Wood, Shadow Thierry, Normandy, the Ardennes, Manila. They exist so future generations will know the sacrifice they made for their freedom and also to realize the terrible cost and the pain of war. Today, I want to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice and those who also served their country. In 1943 and part of 1944 until June 6, I was in England preparing for the invasion. We were uh, next to an 8th Air Force base outside of Southampton, and I'll never forget early in the morning hearing the roar of those engines and watching those magnificent B-17s take off for their bombing run over Germany. And then, later in the day, they would return. But not all of them would return. There were many not able to fly very much with shrapnel and machine gun fire all over the machines. At the Cambridge American Cemetery, there are 4,000 American airmen buried there and 500 and 126 names on the tablets of the missing. Today, we honor and remember them all. And we salute those who served. We salute Sergeant Bonner McMahon, a bold turret gunner on a B-17, and Sergeant John Thomas, a bold turret gunner on a B-24. Sergeant McMahon is the father of the president of Hodges University, Terry McMahon, and Sergeant John Thomas is my brother. Today we honor just a few of those brave Americans, and I know many of you here have members of your family or relatives or friends who made the supreme sacrifice. We remember them all. A special friend of mine is here today. He fought with my division through Africa, Sicily, and Normandy. He made three landings. He's had an unbelievable career, president of three universities, head of the Job Corps in Washington, and when Lord Louis Mountbatten wanted a book written about his life, he chose Frank Johnson. But if I ask Frank what was the most important, the most memorable period of his life, I'm sure he would say, serving this country in the Second World War. He had a magnificent record of courage, many medals, the Distinguished Service Medal being one, and two Purple Hearts. After the Normandy landing, about two weeks after, he was sent on patrol to investigate a tank at a crossroads and was shot by a sniper and ended up in a POW camp. I asked Frank, what he wanted to remember and who he wanted to remember on this Veterans Day. And he said he would like to remember a boy boyhood friend and fellow soldier, Lieutenant Richard Kohler, killed on the landing at Jela Beach in Sicily. Frank recommended he receive the Silver Star, which he did posthumously. Then Frank wanted to remember Tech Sergeant Gerald 
Henderson. They called him Pappy Henderson. He was killed on Omaha Beach while unloading men and vehicles under intense enemy fire. Lieutenant Johnson recommended him for the Distinguished Service Cross, which he received posthumously. And I would like to remember on this Veterans Day my platoon sergeant, Sergeant Jim Stamborski. He was killed on the second day of the Battle of the Bulge. He was severely wounded in Normandy, sent back to England, took two months to recover. And they told him, Sergeant, you can go home now. He said, no, I want to return to my outfit. He joined us on December 14th, and he was killed on December 18th. We remember and honor them all. Captain Jim Elson, head of the Veterans Council, gave me a list of the names of Collier County veterans who were killed in combat from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Iran, and Afghanistan. Because of time constraints, I'm not going to give rank or outfit, just the names. Let us remember and honor them on this Veterans Day. From World War I, Leroy Bennett, Rob Wilkerson, World War II, Richard Aubrey, Theo Berryhill, Joe Chancy, Hardy Mills, Jack Nicholson, Walter Pallas, Otto Perry, Henry Zellers, Arthur Cleveland. From the Korean War, James Cruz, Carnell McKell. Those killed in Vietnam and Southeast Asia from Collier County. Bruce Nickerson, Dale Bremerman, George Johnson, Robert Steele, Jr., William Flint, Robert Cruz, Tom Pilson, Charlie Anthony, Larry Batcher, William Dillinder, Christopher Daniels, Charles McKinney, Nick Amadon, Frederick Levins, John H. Sanders, William B. Brown, Michael Dundas, Jackie Drury, Gerald Howsworth, John Barnes. In the Persian Gulf War, one name, Harold P. Witzke III. Now Iraq and Afghanistan, these brave men from Southwest Florida gave their lives. Wentz Baron Schanneberger III, Stanley J. Lipinski, Fred A. Cannon, Brandon D. Gordon, Richard B. Burris, and Dennis Burrow, killed just last August. We remember and we honor all of them on this Veterans Day 2009. Every day should be Veterans Day, and it is here at Hodges. Veterans have been through so much. Re-entering civilian life can be painful and very stressful. The American Military Veterans Education Fund here at Hodges knows how much we honor and appreciate what they have done. On this Veterans Day, we rededicate ourselves to honoring and assisting our veterans in every way possible. Thank you.